Hello, church family. Can you believe that Thanksgiving is next week? I mean, that's incredible. As, as crazy as 2020 has been, time just continues to fly by. Now, I know for many of us, Thanksgiving will not be what it has been in years past. I know for Melanie and me, we will not be traveling to spend time with family, but we'll be spending time here in Birmingham with each other, celebrating Thanksgiving together. I know many of you will be doing the same thing in your family. So next Wednesday night, we will not have our regular online prayer meeting as we have done for the last several months. So we'll take this week off. You spend time with your family, and then we'll come back together uh, that very next week, the first week of December. Hey, speaking of December and speaking of Christmas being just around the corner as well, this year, once again, we are partnering with the Birmingham Metro Baptist Association in their Season of Our Savior emphasis, where we will take stockings like this that have been prepared by We So Love, fill them full of stuff that we then uh, use to bless children across the Birmingham Metro area. The response of Huffman Baptist in years past to this ministry has been amazing. And so I'm, I'm calling on you again this coming Sunday in the worship center lobby, you will find these stockings available. And inside there will be all of the instructions that you need as to what to put in there, when to bring it back so that we can then get it uh, into the hands of the BMBA and they can use it to bless children across the area. What a great way for us to make Jesus known across the street. It's not too late for you also to participate in the Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Now again, this is something that, that many of us have done for years. This year, because of COVID and all of the other things, uh, you, what you're going to need to do if you want to participate in Operation Christmas Child, first of all, time is running out. This week, the third week of November, is the deadline for collecting at local collection points. So go online to samaritanspurse.org forward slash OCC. There you will find all of the instructions as to what can go in the box, how to pack the box, what offering you need to place with the box, and where you can take it so it can make its way to a distribution center. It's not too late, but time is running short. So if you want to participate, get with it immediately. Hey, I want you to mark your calendars for something that I'm very excited about. December the 12th and 13th, we're going to have our first annual, we hope first annual, Global Impact Weekend. Now, on that particular weekend, on Saturday the 12th, we're going to gather with Kingdom Family Christian Fellowship, and we're going to bless 100 families in our neighborhood. This is an amazing opportunity. These are families that we have been ministering to over the course of the last few months with food distribution. So on the 12th, we're going to, we're going to invite these families into our recreation center where they will have a free Christmas shopping experience. But we want it to be more than just getting stuff. We're thankful for the donation of all of the items from one of our local mission partners. But we want it to be more than just getting stuff. We, we want them to have an experience. We want them to build relationships. We want to have an opportunity to get to know them, maybe to have some gospel conversations, certainly to pray with them. And so to pull this off, we're going to need an army of volunteers starting December the 1st as we bring the items in get them here, get them sorted, get them set up. We're gonna need an army of volunteers to pull this off. So go to huffmanbaptist.org forward slash Christmas Outreach, and there you will find all of the instructions about what you can do, how you can be involved in this amazing ministry opportunity. So that's making Jesus known literally across the street with our neighbors. Then on Sunday morning, we have invited Micah Freeze from Chattanooga, Tennessee to be our guest preacher. Micah is an incredible preacher of the gospel, but he's also a former Southern Baptist foreign missionary. And so we're excited for Micah to be here with us on that Sunday morning. He's gonna challenge us. He's going to encourage us as we make Jesus known through our blessing offering, and specifically the Lottie Moon Christmas offering portion of the blessing. You don't want to miss the weekend of December the 12th and the 13th. Church family, I need to let you know that two weeks ago, we had our first case of COVID-19 with a church member who had been in our worship service. 
Now, many of you are already, already aware of this, but I wanted just to remind you, this is a person, as soon as I found out that she was, was positive, she texted me, I began praying for her, for her health, for her family's health, but I also began praying, Lord, don't let me get any more text messages or phone calls from church members who came in contact with her. She immediately contacted those that she remembered being around on that Sunday and asked them to be careful and to pay attention. But as we prayed about that, I, I can tell you that as of right now, we're almost into the 14 day point right now. We have not seen any community spread, but it reminds us of the reality of how careful we must be to follow social distancing, to wear a mask, to wash our hands, to do all of the protocols that the CDC and our state health department have encouraged us to do. You see, this church member, it looks like contracted COVID at a family gathering. And so as we get ready to go into Thanksgiving and all of our family gatherings, I just wanna encourage you, be careful, pay attention, follow the guidelines, do what you need to do to stay safe. I think I quoted Nick Saban this past Sunday morning when he was talking about sending his players home for the break that they had. And, and he said, you know, I know we all get comfortable around our families, but the truth is none of us really know what Uncle Tommy has been doing. So you stay away from Uncle Tommy, but you enjoy your family gatherings. Just be careful. We want you to stay safe and we want the people around you to be safe and well also. Church family, you have been amazing over these past eight months. And I cannot tell you how thankful I am for the way that you have allowed God to work through you. You have been cooperative, you have been generous, you have been serving the Lord, you have, you've been, you've just been amazing. And I just want you to know, as your pastor, I thank you. 